I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how I make my scripts. So I'm gonna tell you guys what it is that I personally think also works. Because it's gonna have people watching your ad. Here we go. Can y'all even see me? Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to always make really good creatives that convert and that actually drives traffic to your website. I'll be talking a lot in this video in order to give you guys as much value as possible. So if you want, just speed up the video or just go to the parts that you're interested in. But I do recommend you guys watch the full video because I'll be giving you guys a lot of information that's really helpful when testing our product or for those that has never run ads before. And if you're watching this video, chances are you're probably struggling with ads or you just haven't seen the results that you were expecting. So if you really think about it, watching a video for like 5 or 10 minutes is way better than actually running bad creatives, getting no results, and losing all your money. I also want to thank you guys so much for all the support. The channel is actually growing like crazy. I, so I did buy a new camera, a new lighting, literally everything. I bought this little tree thingy right here just because I thought it would look good but you can't even see it to be honest but yeah all jokes aside i really do appreciate all the support you guys are giving me all the dms i actually got a lot of people reaching out saying how they found the video helpful and no joke those messages really does make my day just because i think i mentioned this in my last video i am really bad at making youtube videos i'm still getting used to everything so yeah if you do like the videos and find it helpful just make sure you like subscribe and also if you have any questions at all or you found the video confusing or you're still not sure what to do after watching the video just reach me on instagram i'll literally try to help you as much as i can and answer all your questions all right but now let's actually start the video because by the end of this video you're gonna know what a really good creative looks like I actually don't believe there's only one right way to make a really good ad creative because at the end of the day, we're literally testing different products with different intentions. So with that being said, it all comes to your target audience. Your target audience are those who are more likely to buy your product. So for example, let's say that you're selling cookies to your classmates. If you know your classmates love dark chocolate, but they hate white chocolate, you're gonna make sure that you bake those cookies with dark chocolate chips because that's the type of chocolate that people you're targeting like. So basically understanding your target audience just means knowing what people want so you can make a product that they will enjoy and actually buy. The number one thing you have to understand is that people open TikTok, Facebook, all social media in general only for entertainment. They are not with the intention of buying anything. It's actually your job to sparkle that feeling of need and want to your audience. And so far, I know you're probably like, yeah, duh, but how do we do that? Simply by understanding your target audience needs. So ask yourself, what their day to day looks like? How's their lifestyle? What problems they might have that my product could solve? Once you have that in mind, start thinking about hooks that relate to their lifestyle and that would immediately catch their attention. And this is really important because 90% of people actually scroll the TikTok if they are not interested in the first 5 seconds. So make sure it's a hook that they can relate to and will catch their attention immediately. Now moving on past the hook to actually what to include in your ad creative. What can you do to make that person behind the screen actually want to buy your product and see your brand as their problem solver? So keep that in mind, most of the time people will only buy a product if it's to make their life easier. So in your ad creative, it's obvious that you need to include that. You need to convince them through your ad that your product is worth buying and it's gonna save them a lot of time, effort, whatever it is, it's gonna solve their problem. And for example, there's this travel bag absolutely going crazy on TikTok with a lot of virals just because of how convenient the bag is and how much stuff can fit in just one bag. So when creating your ad, your main focus should be on how that bag will actually benefit your potential customer instead of saying how pretty it is or how nice it looks. You have to advertise it as a must for frequent travelers because it does not only fit everything a small luggage will typically fit, but it also doesn't have to be checked in at the airport, making you save money and time. A hook for this product that I think would fit perfectly with like a pretty influencer saying something like, I can't believe I didn't have to pay or check in my new bag at the airport. For frequent travelers, that hook alone already triggered two problems that they have, which is wasting time checking the bags at the airport and spending money on luggage fees. And not only that, it will probably make them watch the ad until the end just to see what's so special about this bag that it doesn't have to be checked in at the airport or you don't have to pay any luggage fees. So yeah, number one rule, understand your target audience problems, needs, and wants. Because from there, you can create a story that they can relate to and get them interested into buying your product. All right, rule number two, your content must be high quality. 
Because think about it, how are people gonna trust buying a product from a random website that they probably haven't heard if they don't even have high quality images or videos that shows their product? It just doesn't make sense. So yeah, keep that in mind. Either find really good videos or images or order your product to your house and shoot them yourself. All right, now this isn't really a rule, but we're gonna talk about what things I see that it's working right now when building your ad creatives. First thing, captions. A lot of people are using captions on their ad creatives now, and I see that it's working quite a lot because it catches the customer attention into actually reading what's being said about your product. Second thing that's working a lot, fast-paced videos. I think this is obvious, but it's also because of TikTok, everything is getting faster now. And that's why I said the first thing you should think about is your hook on the first five seconds of your ad, because after that, if people are not interested, they're just gonna scroll past your video and go to the next one. Because that's just how TikTok works. All the creatives or advertisers are literally fighting into catching someone's attention and to either follow them or buy their product. So you have to make sure that you catch their attention and not your competitor. The third thing I've seen that's really working is actually seeing human testing your product. When AI first became a thing and more common, people actually did like seeing videos made by AI with voiceovers and robots. But right now what I've seen that they don't really trust AI voiceovers or whatever anymore just because it's not an actual person testing the product and saying the truth about the product. And by you having an actual person, a human, testing out your product, just showing how their experience was buying from your website, it's just gonna make your video and your ad more relatable. Fourth thing, voiceovers. I did say AI voiceovers might not work anymore as much. They still do, don't get me wrong, AI is still a thing and a big thing. I feel like AI is not gonna go anywhere. But when I say voiceovers are actually human voiceovers because me personally, I don't find AI robotic voices attractive at all. And an AI voice will definitely not make me wanna buy something. So what I have used and always worked has been human voiceovers and that's just, what works for me. The voiceovers are really nice because first, you have a good quality audio, and second, you can be doing something and talking about something else. You know, you don't have to be like talking directly to the camera. All right, now the last thing I have seen that really works is having controversial topics in your ad creative. Having controversial topics in your video that actually kind of relates to your product is gonna have people interested and watch your video for longer. Also boost your engagement, making people basically fight to what's the right thing to say or what's the right side, making the chances of going viral way higher. But just make sure you're not saying something like crazy that's gonna have people maybe like questioning your brand and your brand's mission. But again, I do think it's way better to go viral for the wrong reason than just not going viral at all. So yeah, that's all the things I think is really working right now. So captions, fast-paced videos, human using the product, voiceovers, and controversial topics. Keep that in mind. All right, but now we're gonna move on into how to actually make scripts for your ads. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how I make my scripts. So you better like and subscribe right now. Now, I'm just kidding. A lot of people probably do the same thing, but this is just something that I've seen that really worked out for me in every product I tested. So I'm gonna show you guys. All right, first thing you should do when creating your script is to actually think about all the things I have said in this video so far and get a bunch of ideas of what you think might work for your creatives. So let's say you got 10 ideas, narrow it down to five, and then after that, narrow it down to one, ask people's opinion, go to your friends and family, ask them what's the best one. Third step, write a hook with foreshadow. And what I mean by that is just basically write a hook just like I did with the travel bag that I just um, gave you guys as an example. So in the first five seconds of my video, I'm gonna have my hook and a video foreshadowing the end result of like my product. If we stick to the example of the travel bag, we're gonna have that hook with a video in the background foreshadowing how the bag can fit everything. I'm gonna explain this a little bit more later, so just make sure you stick around. All right, fourth step, transition to a story. Like I said earlier, think about the lifestyle of your target audience. So write down a story that they can relate to. And number five, your call to action. I think we all know this. There has to be a call to action. So something like buy one, get one free today, 50% off, that type of thing. Now we're gonna move on to the actually script. I kind of wrote down a script for the example of this travel bag really quickly. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I have my computer right here and I'm just gonna read it to you guys, the script, um, instead of saying it just because it's way easier. I literally take hours, like my memory is shit guys. Like, Okay, so the first five seconds of the clip is the hook along with the end result showing the product and what it does. 
Remember the hook, let me go back. Um, the hook would be, I can't believe I didn't have to pay or check in my new bag at the airport. That's gonna be the first five seconds of the video. And like I said, it's gonna be the hook along with the end result showing the product and what it does. So while that voiceover explained, there's gonna be a video behind that hook just showing the end result of the product and how it works, how does the bag fit so much stuff. And the reason why I like to do this is because it's gonna have people watching your ad probably until the end or longer, just because they wanna see what um, is so special about the product. Now that you got their attention, it's time to tell a story that they can relate to. And that's why transitioning from the hook to a story is really important. So for example, let's say the five seconds is, that I can't believe um, I didn't have to pay or check in my new bag at the airport along with the clip of her, um, the influencer, all happy with the bag. So now transitioning to a story that they can relate to, you can, there's a lot of things you can say, just make up a story, but for example, for the travel bag, um, you can just tell a story about how she bought the bag and wanted to see if everything people were telling and saying about this bag is actually true. So it's basically just a really fast paced video of her just going through the airport and like seeing like, Oh my God, I'm so scared. What if it doesn't work? What if the security stops me? So really just triggering problems frequent travelers have which is like like i said wasting time on the airport checking the bags or spending money on luggage fees just making sure you guys are still with me and understood everything so the first five seconds is the hook with the end result showing the product and what it does so it could be something like the influencer all happy at her final destination showing oh my god it worked blah 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 and then you're gonna transition back to her telling a story until that moment, okay? So what happened before the end result? Basically just showing what a freaking traveler problems could look like and how this bag would just solve them because they don't have to spend um, time checking in or spending money on luggage fees. And then for the call to action at the end of your ad, you can literally just use the video that you used in the first five seconds or another one, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you put a little call to action and then after that guys, it's just basically a lot of editing and shooting the video to actually make sure your um, ideas came into like real life. So yeah, that's exactly how I make my script and turn all of this into like the ad creatives. Now, if you don't think this ad creative will work for your product or you just don't really like it, it's too much work for you. So I'm going to tell you guys what ad creatives that I personally think also works. The most common type of creative is the one that you don't actually tell a story like you did on like with the airport thing. It's the one that you actually just show the end result and what the product does immediately. And a perfect example for this is the posture corrector that I tested out with you guys on the 72 hour dropshipping challenge. The ad creative immediately shows how the product works and what it does and people can assume that it's a posture corrector based on what they're seeing. So you're not really telling a story or what the product does or its features. You're just basically letting people assume what they want and how that's going to help them. And like I said earlier, and I'm going to say again, one that I do think works a lot is having controversial topics in your first five seconds. So that's going to get your click through rate up and your engagement up, showing your ads to a lot more people. And that could really work if the controversial topic is good and not really affecting your brand's image. So just make sure you're good with that. Also, another thing that I do think works a lot is just having a question on the first five seconds instead of the hook because having a question is gonna make people relate to your video a lot more because you're asking them like in specifically a question or whatever the question might be and they're probably gonna watch the video for a little longer than just scrolling oh and I also want to give you guys an update shrine did reach out to me and they did give me the link so you can now go to the description and if you want to get the shrine theme that I mentioned in my last video and if you don't know what the shrine theme is it's basically the one that I used in my last video and the one I personally use to literally just run all my products because it looks really good like can't even compare it to the ones on Shopify and I can guarantee you that once you get it your conversion rate is gonna get way higher this is not sponsored at all I'm just saying because now I have the link in my last video where I showed and built a product page also if you do want to see how I build my product pages, that's literally my last video. I showed you everything I put in my product pages, exactly what I do. And in that video, I did use the Shrine theme. So if you want to see if it's worth it or if it's something you want to invest your money in, just go to that video, watch if you want it. And again, you don't need to. I just wanted to put the link there and mention it so you guys can get it at a lower price. And yeah, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you guys got some information and some value from this video because what I'm telling you right now, it's actually what I do and um, everything I think about my strategies when I'm testing out a product and I need new creatives. 
and it all comes down to your target audience and what their needs are so just make sure you're thinking about that and paying attention to those details when creating your ads and if you did like me or like the video got some value i would really appreciate it if you subscribe like the video comment any questions you have or if you want just reach me on instagram and if you need any help at all i'll try to answer you as fast as possible all right guys i'll see you in the next one i'll be back